I'm Sonic. Click on me for help. Audio's low. Um, actually, I don't know how to turn it up, honestly. Let's go to Sonic Schoolhouse, everyone. You can press the books icon on the bottom to change the grade level. What does all this stuff do? Every time you answer a question, you get another gumball. It takes a hundred gumballs to fill the machine. Click up here when you want to print your gumball machine. Click, click here to see someone else's gumball machine. Two players? Two players, Sonic Schoolhouse? Come back. Come here. Hey. Come here. Come here. On the doors with letters or numbers to enter a classroom. Spelling. Get ready for spelling. Touch any blackboard and I'll read the question to you. Then go grab a letter that fills in a blank space. Bring it back to the board and I'll tell you if you're right. Dr. Robotnik will take your answers if he catches you. Have fun. Watch out for Robotnik. E R R E. Hmm. 
How do I know what letter? No. Nothing. Nothing? Oh, it tells me. How do I... Nothing. How do I get the letter? This looks like Baldi's Basics. Oh, there's Robotnik. N. Get away from me. Nothing. I. That's uh -oh. not the answer. Try again. Uh oh. Uh oh. We messed up. T. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Great start. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. <laughs> I'm smart now! So I need an H and a G. Come here, G. Come here. Hey. G. Great start. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. I need H. Where's H at, Sonic? There's H. Come here. Yeah, Coke, whatever. You fixed it from the first time we tried this. This runs really smooth. Yay! I'm smart. I'm smart. We're finished with that question. Try another. Okay. Where? Where? Okay, I need E. Come here, E. E. Great start. But you w haven't given me the whole answer yet. W and H. W. Come here. D. No. W. W. Get out of the way, Robotnik. Oh, God. Flashing colors. Flashing colors. Great start. H. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. I need H. Where's H? Oh, there's H. H. There we go. So the end of this is you finish all the classes and you get to go to recess, right? Great answer. And that's the end of it. yet you great start but you haven't given me the whole answer yet C O that's great receive Receive? Receive. Oh, I don't know. I. That's a little too hard for me. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. E. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. C. Did anyone ever play this in their childhood? Suppose. S. 
great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. E. Can I do more than one letter at a time? No, it just replaces it, doesn't it? If that word is toxic, I'm going to laugh. Oh my god. More rooms keep popping up that I've never seen before. Where's the room I was at? I wonder how many teachers had their kids play this during their session. Watch out for Dr. Robotnik. B. E. Get out of the way, Robotnik. You're blocking my way. Wait, I think the four rooms are just right here. Here we go. You're smart. Green. Did you say greed or green? On, Sonic. Oh, it unlocks the doors as you progress. Oh, what's this? Congratulations! Now you can play one of my cool schoolyard games. Okay. A field trip. Daddy. Daddy. What I need a D A and a Y. D and a Y. You haven't given me the whole answer yet. D. Great start. And a Y. You haven't given me the whole answer yet. Y. Get over here, Y. Come here. Y. Y. I feel like there's gonna be a few sound bites off this game. Daddy! Answer. Oh. This key will get you through one locked door. One locked door. Daddy. I would have been your daddy.
This is a weird game. I mean, it was released, what, 97? Third. Third. R. It was released on in 1997 for PC. Great start. What do I need? But you an, haven't given me the whole answer yet. An I and a D. An I and a D is what I need. There's I. Come here. O. No. I. No, I don't want the O face. Great start. D. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. I need the D. Give me Sonic, where is your D? Can you give me your D, Sonic? There's your D. Whoa. U D. You can change the colors of the Wait, where did D go? Oh no. I got distracted by the walls. There's D. Come here, D. D. Which room was that? Was it over here? I already finished that one. Oh, this room, this room's done. There's four rooms here together. This room's done. Must be over here then. No, I think I finished this one too, yeah. Where was that? See, there's two rooms there, and then two rooms on this side. There's not any rooms back here. Was it behind, was it in here? No, I already, those were the, that's, that was the reward behind the door. Oh, here we go. No? I swear these rooms are changing on me. There. Correct. Good job. You can play in the schoolyard with that. I can play in the schoolyard. I think there's one more. Today. Today is the day. I just need D, A, and Y. Come here, D. D. Great start. A and Y. You haven't given me the whole answer yet. Y. I'm working on it, buddy. Calm down. Great start. I'm going fast, you okay? Given me the whole answer yet. I'm going fast. I'm going faster than you. A. Ooh, just wait till we get to math. Math class. That's great. That's great. Yeah, that's great. You just earned a field trip with that. Cool. So, there's only one icon left that's not that's grayed out. So what does that mean? I've almost 100%ed this room, I guess. This room's done. So that whole side is done. That's done. There's only one in here. Okay, this must be the last one left then. Because there's only one Sonic not filled in. Brown. Brown. W and N. I need a W and an N. N. Which room was that? Was that in here? No, that one's done. Here. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. W. 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 Yep. W. Doctor Robotnik stole your answer. What? You s son of a bitch. W. Steal my letter. Great answer. All the problems are finished. Head for the exit when you're done. 
When you want to take a break, that pass will get you into the schoolyard for a game. Okay. So we finished spelling class, I guess. Hey! We did it! <laughs> day, that's two words I need a day for? Yeah, I know, right? So spelling is done. There's reading, math, and math again? What's this? I think this is recess. Click on either gate to play a game. Play a game. Get ready to match the statues. Match the statues at recess. Turn over the question marks and match the statues you find. Oh, it's a matching game. Tails. Knuckles. Flower. Robotnik. Lamp post. Ring. Ring was here. Good match. Sunflower was here. Wait, are they gonna be exactly? No, wait. Sunflower was this one. Good match. Sonic. I haven't seen Sonic yet. Palm tree. There's Sonic. Good match. Robotnik. You're here, right? No, you're here. Robotnik and Robotnik. Good match. Tails was... No, that was Knuckles. Tails and Tails. Good match. Lamp post was over here. Good match. What was this one? Knuckles. Knuckles is going to be here then. Yep. Knuckles. Good match. And then palm tree and palm tree. Good match. Yay. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. So the Sonics are to go outside and play. What's the other? Let's do the other recess. It was the other one is rings. Get ready for a Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure. This was before Sonic Adventure came out. Grab all the rings you need. Watch Grab. for Robotnik and his friends. Oh no. Have fun. Okay. Grab the rings. Oh no. No, get away from me. Oh! I lost all the rings. Oh no. That bug's trying to get me. Oh god. One more. Got it. That was fun. Let's go back to school. Let's go back to school. Okay, so those were the two recesses that you can play. 
All right, shall we go? We already did spelling. Shall we do math? Or should we go on a field trip first? We've already got our field trips filled out. Click on the bus door to go on a field trip. Sonic's school bus. Click on one of my friends to go for a visit. Click on the buttons over the window to find out more about whoever you're visiting. Click on the red light when you're ready to go back to school. Now buckle up. Click on the buttons over the window to find out more about whoever you're visiting. Oh my god. This was Google Earth before Google Earth. I like to spend my time in the big open plains. Would you like to know why? There's plenty of space for the rest of my herd. Sometimes we even hang around with herds of other kinds of animals, like antelopes or ostriches. And there's plenty of grass for me to graze on. I don't have any kind of protection, except that I run fast. Almost 40 miles per hour. Can you run that fast? Sonic can. You'll find most of us zebras in the bottom half of Africa. There's plenty of open land there which I like. You might think all zebras are the same, but we're not. We have different stripes depending on which variety we are. We're all basically the same shape. So you have to look closely for the pattern if you want to identify us. So is this like... Zebras are fascinating, don't you think? We look like horses because we're very much like horses. That means I graze on grass, leaves, anything you find growing out on the plains. I'm different than a horse in that I don't have people taking care of me. Most horses are domesticated. People keep them and feed them so that they can ride the horses or have them do work. No one's ever managed to domesticate zebras, and I doubt they ever will. <laughs> so red goes back to school. What does the yellow button do? Nothing. Green? Nothing. That doesn't do anything. This has you crying? Click on the buttons over the window. Find out more about whoever you're visiting. Okay, so this is what it means by field trip. You can just click on the classmates and you get three videos about them. Oh, I'm a herbivore. That means I don't eat anything but plants. You probably know some people who are vegetarians and don't eat any meat at all. I bet they can't eat grass like me. I'd take a big old pile of lawn clippings over one of your candy bars any day. That's because I've got a different kind of stomach than you. Mine has four parts, just like a This cow. is the same woman that did the zebra voice, right? I feel like she's doing a fake... Australian accent. You probably already know that we have pouches in our bellies to carry our youngins. What you might not know is that male kangaroos don't have pouches. That's because a baby kangaroo is born straight into his mama's pouch and stays there for as much as eight months. Did you also know that there are more than 50 kinds of kangaroos? Click on Sonic. No. <laughs> no. I'm a gator. That's alligator to y'all who don't live down south where I'm from. This is the same woman, isn't it? Gators are partial to water. 
rivers, swamps, bayous, ponds, creeks. We live in all of them. We do move okay on land. In fact, I can outrun a horse for a short distance. But we're happiest when we're just flopping around in some nice, cool water. <laughs> I think it's the same woman and she's just doing different accents. You'd be amazed at all the different things I can eat. I eat like a... Well, okay. I eat like a pig. I'll eat most anything you put in front of me. I can even use my snout to dig in the dirt and come up with food. Some smart pigs can find truffles. Truffles are like mushrooms, only better. You can train a pig to do almost anything a dog can do. Hmm. Oh, that used up one bus token. Interesting. All right, let's do math. Get ready for math. Get ready for math, everyone. Nine times three equals. Nine times five equals Six times seven equals. All right, which one should we do first? Twitch. Six times seven. Who wants to answer it first? Come on, Twitch class. I'm gonna get some uh, refrigerators. <laughs> While we're doing math class. While we're doing math class. No one's no one's raising their hand to answer the question. It's Sonic Schoolhouse. Forty-two. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. All right, pig. You said forty-two. Two. Let's see if you were right. Hey. That's great. That's great, pig. Good job. All right. How about this one? All right. All right. What about this one? Six plus what equals seventeen? I feel like we're going to be here all night if I wait on the chat. <laughs> Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. One. Everyone's too sh too shy to answer the math questions. That's great. I got another key. This key. 
key will get you through one locked door. One locked door. Where's the locked door at then? Nothing but the. <laughs> Nine times five equals. Nine times five equals. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. As long as Robotnik doesn't Five. steal my number. Correct. Good job. Good job. Eight times seven. Sixty-nine. Eight times seven. All right, I'll let you do this one. I'll let you do this one, chat. Eight times seven. What is it? One three three seven. Somehow I doubt that, since it only allows for two. Three. What happens if I do this? That's not the answer. Try again. Fifty-three. Okay, let's see if you're right. That's not the answer. Try again. Oh. Uh oh. Anyone else want to take a take a guess? Let's see if five is actually one of them. Great start. You were close. You me the whole answer yet. It starts with a five. Okay, Coke says fifty-six. Let's see if he's right. Six. Eight zero zero eight five. Coke was right. Great. Fifty-six. When you want to take a break, that pass will get you into the schoolyard for a game. I've already played both of this, the games in the schoolyard. All right, this room's done. We fit, did we finish this one? We finished this one. Okay, this side of the room is done. What is this? Do? Oh. Okay, here we go. Nine times three. Nine times three. Anyone want to take a wild guess? Twenty-seven. Okay, let's see if you're right. Seven. Great start. Great. You haven't given me the whole answer yet. Sonic says, "Great start." Two. Get away from me, Robotnik. Hey, you Great got it. Answer. Great answer. All right, seven times eight. Wait, didn't we just do that one? Oh, it's gone now. I can't see it. Seven times eight. Might have been eight times seven. It might have. Five. Great start. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. Eight. Six. Answer. 
Congratulations. Now you can play one of my cool schoolyard games. All right, nine times six. I'll let you guys do this one. Nine times six. Fifty-four? Okay. Let's try fifty-four. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. Five. Hey, you got it. Great answer. Good job. Now you can go on a field trip. Okay. Oh, that's the secret room. Okay. Six times eight. This might be the last one. Well, there's going to be a few inside there, but. Wait, you can just open the door without answering the question? <laughs> oh, I used the... Oh, you can skip past it. Nine times four. Can't open exit now. What if I put the eight? Six. What if I what if I put the answer in there though? Probably. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. I'm stuck in school Sonic Schoolhouse forever now. I can't get out. I'm trapped in here forever. Three. Great answer. You can play in the schoolyard with that. All right. Let's see. Let's do this one. Two. Two. I believe this one is 22. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. Let's see if I'm right. Two. Okay, I was right. Correct. Good job. Thank you, Sonic. You just earned a field trip with that. Okay. We cleared this side. Need to go back and do this board though. 21. All right, what about this one? 8 times 6, guys. Come on. This is the last one. What do these gumballs do? Eight times six times eight Coke. Six times eight equals equals. Come on, Coke. 
48. All right. Let's see. Watch out for Dr. Robotnik. No. Get away from me. Get away from me, Dr. Robotnik. Great start. But you haven't given me the whole answer yet. I need eight. Oh, there is a four right there. Robotnik loves just spawn, like spawn camping right there. Eight. Let's see. Oh, it was this one right here, wasn't it? No. All over here. Hey. Good job. Four All problems are finished. Head oh. for the exit when you're done. Okay, we can leave. I didn't want to leave that unsolved. We might get trapped in Sonic Schoolhouse forever. Thank you, Coke. You got all ten right. Great. Uh, thank you. We answered all ten correctly. Okay. So spelling's done, math is done. We got math, math two, and reading. And then I think we've finished Sonic Schoolhouse. I can't think of anything else that we could do. Let's do reading. And then we'll end it. Ready for reading. Oh my god, that was kind of scary. Just popped the door right open. Alright, it's time to read, guys. Here we go. I bet you can read this without my help. I bet you can read this without my help. Position? What? Oh, my light. Ambulance. Oh, I see. You gotta... Okay. Well, physician's a mighty big word for this game, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Dr. Robotnik stole your answer. Oh, screw you, Robotnik. Physician. Physician. That's such a interesting word to have. That's great. Physician, musician. What's next? <laughs> Physician, musician, ignition. Musician. Pumpkin head. Cliffy. This key will get you through one locked door. Fire extinguisher. Is there a world speedrun record for this game? Fire extinguisher. Scissors. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Halloween. So there's where Cliffy goes. There's Firecracker. Halloween. Halloween. Correct. Good job. You can play in the schoolyard with that. Okay. Scissors. Got to find the scissors. Wait, is there? Oh, okay. I thought that was scissors for a double. There's scissors right there. Watch out for Dr. Robotnik. Get away from my scissors, Robotnik. Okay, this room's done. Scissors. Ignition by Toby Mac. Earned a field trip with that. Yay. Okay, what's next? What's this one? Guitar. We need a guitar.
Oh god, flashing lights. Guitar. Violin, guitar. Yay. Smart answer. Explosion. Ambulance. Explosion. 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 Give me the detonator. <laughs> what if one of the words was detonator? Great answer. Bomb. Rhinoceros. Now you can go on a field trip. All right, we need ambulance. 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 Get away from me, Robotnik. You're gonna steal my ambulance. Congratulations! Now you can play one of my cool schoolyard games. All right, scales. Is it literally gonna be a picture? Scales. That's an hourglass. Oh. Scales. I was thinking like scales, as in like you weigh on the scales. I didn't think like. I was like, how are they going to get a picture of that? That You're smart. Cobalt flower? That's so random. Cobalt flower. What a strange word compared to the rest of these. What's this? Red flower. Red flower. Yellow Blossom. Yellow Blossom. Cobalt Flower. Bam Cobalt Flower. Smart answer. All the problems are finished. Head for the exit when you're done. Yay, we did it. We beat. When you want to take a break, that pass will get you into the schoolyard for a game. We finished reading class at Sonic Schoolhouse. Read the words on the blackboard and try to find a balloon with a matching picture. Grab the matching balloon and bring it back to the board. Don't let Dr. Robotnik take your answer. Uh-oh. Have fun. It's was talking about something about like gumballs at the start. You got all 10 right. Great job. Like, if you get a hundred gumballs or something right at the start of the game, it said something about that, right? I wonder what that meant. Something about it, you get a hundred gumballs, something, something, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a hundred. I thought it's, I thought he said a hundred gumballs, though. All right. Which math did we do the first time? It was addition and multiplication. All right. We got to do subtraction and dividing. Okay, you guys ready? This is our last class. And then we're done. Click on the doors with letters or numbers to enter a classroom. I don't think the field trip changes. I think it's just the same. By field trip, you just click on. Click on one of my friends to go for a visit. Click on the buttons over the window to find out more about whoever you're visiting. Click on the red light when you're ready to go back to school. Now buckle up.
domesticated animal eats pretty much whatever's given to them. Different types of cattle are fed different things depending on what they're bred for. Imagine modern being that truck that drove by in the background as they were filming this for Sonic Schoolhouse. Modern kids. <laughs> Left on their own, cows can live just fine on grass. Now we have a special stomach that's got different parts to it. When we eat the grass, it goes into the first part and forms cud. Cud gets spit back into our mouths so we can chew on it some more. <laughs> I love cud. I love cud. If you can find people somewhere, there are probably cows. Personally, I'm a longhorn. Most of the cattle you see in America today came from cows that were only brought over about 200 years ago. <laughs> you can tell the difference because they have much shorter horns. Well, now you understand why I'm called a longhorn. Maybe a well-known flower to Japanese grown in Japan. Was this game? Oh, yeah, I guess. This was an American release, though, wasn't it? School bus won't change, but maybe the statue's positioning. Oh, you mean for, like, the playground game? When you think about it, there's not really much to this game, is there? There's four classes, two two games, and then videos talking about animals. Get ready to match the statue. We'll do statue matching one more time. Turn over the question marks and match Ring. The statue oh my god, is it the same exact? No, it's different. It's actually different. Good match. It's educational software, not a game. So wait, are you saying I can't count this as a game completion? When I beat all four classes? Sonic. Sonic. Good match. Knuckles. Palm tree. That was there. Good match. Knuckles. Tails, knuckles. Good match. See, my gumballs are filling up down at the bottom left. Good match. Good match. Good match. All the matches. That's pretty clever. It's pretty clever. Edutainment. Edutainment. I like that. It's an edutainment game. Yeah. All right, let's do our last class, and that I guess that'll be it for Sonic Schoolhouse. Get ready for math. This was released in North America only. It's a legit genre. Edutainment is. Oh my. 
seven. Smart answer. Smart answer. Smart answer. This key will get you through one locked door. So the key gets you through a door without answering the question. All right, I did two of them. It's time for you guys to step it up. What's the answer? I'll give you a hint. The number is on the chalkboard. Six. Smart answer. Oh my, look at this one. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. CS says nine. Let's see if he's right. Two, nine. Hey! That's great. Congratulations! Now you can play one of my cool schoolyard games. Nice. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. Forty-eight divided by eight equals. 48 divided by 8. What is it? Coke says 6. Let's see if he's right. 3, 6. Coke was right. Now you can go on a field trip. We can go on a field trip now. We cleared this room. Are we doing good, Sonic? Click on a blackboard if you want me to read the question. Then grab the number you think is the right answer and bring it back. Stay He's... clear of Dr. Robotnik, or he'll take your answers. He's spin... You can only hold one number at a time. If you grab a second one, the first one goes free. Have a great time. Have a great time. Have a great time, Chalk, at Sonic Schoolhouse. Okay, here's our next one. 63 divided by 9 equals... Ooh. What do you guys think? What is it? Seven? Let's see if you're right. Watch out for Dr. Robotnik. Four. Seven. Robotnik better not steal my seven. I'm going to stick it where the sun don't shine. Hey, we got it. Answer. Smart answer. All right. Ooh, okay, here's a good one. 61 minus 42 minus equals 3. Okay, get your calculators out. What is the answer to this one, boys and girls? Nine just so happened to be the answer for the next question. So you were trolling on the first question and actually answered the next question with your troll. <laughs> I couldn't tell because of Twitch delay, but funny how that happened. Okay, I quickly did the math in my head on this one. I'm going to see if I'm right. Six. We're going to find out real quick on this one. Great start, but you haven't given me the whole answer yet. Click on a blackboard if you want me to read the question. Three, then one. grab the number you I quickly the just right and bring it back. marathoned Stay the equation in my head, Nick. and I got it. Okay. Answer. Great answer. You can only hold one number at a time. If you grab a second one, the first one goes free. Uh, you already have a great time. Have a great a great time. time. Pass will get you into the schoolyard for a game. We're going to have some sound bites off this game, I feel like. 
All right. So he, he didn't say all questions have been answered yet, so there's still some more qu math questions. What are we missing? Lost power for two minutes earlier due to a storm. Yeah, I was watching Weather Channel earlier. It looks like Georgia's been getting pounded. Pounded. Wait, did I answer all of them? Oh, no. Here we go. All right, here's your next question, chat. 42 divided by 6 equals... 42 divided by 6 equals... You can do it, chat. You can do it. You can do it. Seven. I think you're right. Hey. Oh, God, that one's so easy. All right. Let's do the easy one. Okay, here we go. 18 divided by 9 equals... 18 divided by 9... Pig says four. four. Let's see if he's right. Four. That's not the answer. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I'll clarify for anyone that ever watches this VOD and on YouTube. I just trolled Pig. He said two. He did not say four. However, CS did say one. I should have went with that. You can play in the schoolyard with that. Yay, the schoolyard. All right, here's here's our last one, I think, of the game. Twenty-eight divided by four equals. Twenty-eight divided by four. What do we got? Coke says seven. This game really loves its seven, doesn't it? Seven. There's a lot of seven going on in math class. Zero. That's great. All the problems are finished. Head for the exit when you're done. Head for the exit when you're done. You just earned a field trip with that. A field trip. Okay, he said every class has been finished. Dustin Rhodes fans. Seven. This is the game that actually inspired Baldi's Basics. This is called Sonic Schoolhouse, released in 1997. Playing on the Windows, Windows 95. Or 90, 1996, played on Windows 95. Right, Sonic? Click on the doors with letters or numbers to enter a classroom. Click on the doors with letters or numbers to enter a classroom. All right, we beat every class. We finished every class. We passed every class. We went to the play. You're too slow! We went to the... I actually like the Sonic voice in this game more than that. Is that bad? That I think the Sonic voice in Sonic Schoolhouse is better than that Sonic voice? I actually don't mind the, son the Sonic voice in this. Let's go on a field trip. Click on one of my friends to go for a visit. Click on the buttons over the window to find out more about whoever you're visiting. Click on the red light when you're ready to go back to school. Now buckle up. Buckle up. Let's learn about rabbits. Okay, here we go, everyone. Google Earth. Oh, is that a Toyota? Is that a black Toyota? Some guy, some guy's children played this and was like, Dad, that's your, that's your black Toyota. That's your black Toyota truck. 
in Sonic Schoolhouse. Some rabbits are lucky and live with people as pets. The rest of us live in holes in the ground. Some of us dig our own, and some prefer to find nice holes that someone else has already built. We usually come out of our holes at night or early in the morning to look for food. Since we don't have any claws or big teeth to protect us, we have to sneak around a lot and avoid the bigger, meaner animals. See how hard it is to see us sometimes? That's how we hide. Mm. We like everything from cold, snowy areas to hot deserts. We were not indigenous to all of those places. Indigenous means that you grow up somewhere naturally. There were never any rabbits in Australia until humans brought them there. Okay, I actually did not know that. You've probably played with a rabbit at your friend's house or at the zoo. If you have, you know how much we love vegetables and fruit. Give me a big head of lettuce and I'm as happy as can be. Parsley is great. Celery is a nice change of pace. I'll even eat potatoes on special occasions. Click on the buttons over the window. Find out more about whoever you're visiting. I wish I could stop that on that road sign to see where this was filmed. Like, just pause it right on that, that road sign to see what that says. To see where that shot was filmed at. People say I'm funny looking. But that's because they don't understand why I look this way. See how my eyes and nose are on top of my head? That means I can float in a river with just the top of my head sticking up for air. That's important because it's hot where I live. I spend almost all day in the water to stay cool. If I want to, I can dive down and stay underwater for six minutes. People call us the hippopotamus because that means water horse in Greek, which is a pretty good description if you ask me. Not so long ago, you would have hey, Shika, what's up? like me all over Africa. Shika, Shika. We live everywhere you extracted the files for this game? Egypt to South Does it come with audio? There aren't as many of us now because people used to hunt us. Now I'm protected by law. Oh, just the videos. I'd like to get a bunch of Sonic voice lines from this game. Anything but grass and leaves. My stomach is so big, it can hold five or six bushels of food. A bushel is like a small laundry basket. I have friends who weigh four tons. That's 8,000 pounds. That's a lot more than most automobiles weigh. That's about 80,000 smart cars. Oh, here we go. Click on the button and... Find out more about whoever you're visiting. Pause. I want to see what those cities are on that sign. We monkeys can live in different environments because we're adaptable. It's a Nissan truck? In fact, we're closer to you than any other animal. We have hands, <laughs> you actually we have it stop motioned? And hold stuff and, and the actual no file, can do video that. file from the but game? Most of us have a thumb that's opposable. <laughs> that means it closes over our palm just like yours does. Just think how difficult your life would be if you didn't have a thumb. Try to go 15 minutes without using your thumb and you'll see how important it is. Try playing a video game without your thumb and see how important it is. Monkeys have been brought all over the world, but we're only indigenous to a few parts. Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. Indigenous means that that's where we're originally from. 
In the rest of the world, you'll have to go to a zoo or a circus if you want to see us. We've always been very popular because we're smart and can learn to do almost anything someone wants to teach us. In, in the way that we eat. We usually eat fruits and vegetables, but every so often we'll eat a little meat. I love a cheeseburger whenever I can get one. What's your favorite thing to eat? Cheeseburger. Did you know that baby monkeys are born and grow in pretty much the same way as little kids do? The mama monkey has to take care of her baby for years before it's able to fend for itself. The monkey wants a cheeseburger. All right. Last on the buttons over the window. Find out more about whoever you're visiting. Last student at, at Sonic Schoolhouse. The company that made this was based in California and it looks like a California road sign. <laughs> we dove deep into the weeds on this game, didn't we? I love it. I bet the only place you've ever seen a polar bear is in a zoo. That's probably the only place you ever will see one of us. Oh god. Because we don't live near where people live. This fucking snare. wind is so cold. <laughs> I was just about to the say balls off a fucking polar bear. I was just about to say it. I was just about to say this needs to be narrated by Dick Marcinko. You take at least 10 or 15 kids your size to weigh that much. You don't have to worry about me getting cold when I jump into the icy water where I live. My fur coat is waterproof. I've also got fur on my paws and webbing between my toes to help me swim. Here's Dicky. Different kinds of bears live all over the world. We polar bears only live in the Arctic where it's very, very cold all the time. Up in the neighborhood of the North Pole, there's nothing but ice and water. Winter and summer. <laughs> and that's how I like it. Some of us live further south, some further north, but we all tend to stay in our own neighborhood. Of course, the size of that neighborhood varies depending on how much food there is. Polar bears are different than a lot of bears that live down south. Most of them live off berries and vegetation. We're carnivores. Or cocaine. That means we eat meat. I eat a lot of fish and anything else I can catch in the water around where I live. That was a really short clip. All right. We learned about all of our classmates at Sonic Schoolhouse. They really missed the boat on having one about hedgehogs, didn't they? All right. I think our time at Sonic Schoolhouse has come to an end, everyone. We went, we learned all about our classmates. We beat all four classes. Click on the doors with letters or numbers to enter a classroom. I don't think there's anything left for us to do. We played the two playground games that there is. I think that's it, everyone. The gumball machine. Oh yeah, where's the gumball machine? The gumball machine. 66 gumballs. you answer a question, you get another gumball. It takes a hundred gumballs to fill the machine. Click up here when you want to print your gumball machine. Click here to see someone else's gumball machine. It takes six... 100 gumballs to fill the gumball machine.
Should we fill the rest of the gumball machine? Should we get it to 100? Or should we call it here? You think we're done? You want to fill the gumball machine up to 100? Every time you answer a question, you get another gumball. It takes 100 gumballs to fill the machine. Click up here when you want to print your gumball machine. Click here to see someone else's gumball machine. I think we're going to do it. Wait, what happened to my gumballs? <gasps> oh, they're back. Okay. It scared me because... The gumball machine was empty. I was at 66, right? All right, which which class is probably the quickest? Probably reading, right? Get ready for reading. Coke found the audio files. Let's fill the gumball machine to a hundred. Lemon color phone. Ambulance. Oh, there's an ambulance right there. Ambulance. Violin. Okay, let's let's speed run this. We're gonna get a hundred gumballs. Violin, violin. Oh god, get away from me, Robotnik. Nope. Oh god, flashing colors. We need a violin. We need a Halloween. We need a lemon color phone. Halloween. Where's Halloween? There's Halloween. Halloween. Okay, we're speed running this now to 100 gumballs. 100 gumballs run. That's great. A blue bird. We need a blue bird. There's a blue bird right there. Want to take a break? That pass will get you into the schoolyard for a game. Okay, we need this room's done. We still need a what's in here? A helicopter and a convertible. Helicopter, convertible, lemon. The chopper! Lemon colored phone. Hourglass. I'm smart. Uh, violin. Scissors. Violin. 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 No. Doctor Robotnik stole your answer. Ah, oh, Doctor Robotnik. You motherfucker. He ate my violin. Now I, now I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Violin. I'll go this way. He's fat! Yeah. He is. Okay, there we go. You're smart. Cobalt flower. That's a blue flower and a magnifying glass. Oh, there's a the blue flower right there. 
cobalt flower. Okay, I don't think we need to go into these rooms. Magnifying glass. Uh, convertible was one, right? Convertible. Convertible. Be this room. Helicopter. Helicopter and a magnifying glass. Helicopter. Helicopter. Get to the chopper. Okay. That's great. All right, this room's done. This room's done. No wait, magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Oh, that's what that is. Magnifying glass. I thought that was a banjo or something. <laughs> There's a balloon isolated in one of the back rooms. Magnifying glass. There we go. Okay. And then we need hourglass. And that might be it. Hourglass. I saw it earlier. Where is it? Hour. There it is. Hourglass. Hourglass. Now I remember what door it was. Not there. The next room is only one. There we go. Are finished. Head okay. for the exit when you're done. Head for the exit when you're done. That was another how many gumballs? You got all ten right. Great job. Ten. That was another ten. So we're at what, seventy-six? Alright. You guys wanna do What do you guys wanna do you guys wanna do math or and I feel like, I feel like reading is, or spelling, or no, reading is the quickest one to get through it, probably, right? Because you Ready for reading. that always freaks me out when he opens the door, he's like, get ready for reading. This is probably the quickest one, because you only have to grab one balloon. Rhinoceros, red bird, guitar, and a... Cobalt flower again. There's the cobalt flower. Cobalt flower. All right, that's You're fine. Smart. You're smart. What were we looking for again? Guitar was one, I think, right? Guitar. Guitar. That's great. Blue bird in an hourglass. Bluebird, our oh, there's bluebird. Bluebird. Hourglass. That's great. Hourglass. There's rhinoceros hourglass. as well. You can only pick up one at a time, so. Hourglass. That was in one of the rooms, right? Penguin. Penguin's in here. That one's done. Hourglass. Okay. Great answer. We need 
penguin. 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 Reading is fastest unless the ring's memory game uh, hands out gumballs. Nothing but bits. Goombas Lair 490 and cheered. X50. Hey, thanks for the Mark bits, Goomba. Answer. How you doing? Welcome to Sonic Schoolhouse. We decided to grab all 100 gumballs since we're on this game. Just to, uh... Put the final seal on Sonic Week in an epic way. That room's done. That room's done. All right, I need a Crimson Bird and a Rhino. 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 I saw the rhino earlier. You can play in the schoolyard with that. Crimson bird and rhino. There's Rhino. Rhinoceros. Okay. Okay, this room's Rhino. Rhinoceros. Right here. Okay. Correct. Convertible. We need Coke's convertible from Forza. Or Gran Turismo. There it is. Convertible. Is Gran Turismo convertible right there? Is 1997 convertible? Is GT convertible? Okay. What's up, man? How's the stream? It's going good, man. We're done with Sonic Week after this. I'm kind of sad that it's coming to an end, but I'm also kind of happy as well. We're just playing Sonic Schoolhouse here. Game released on PC in 1997 to round out our Sonic week here at the Red channel. Crimson bird. Oh, he almost took it, my Crimson Bird. Crimson Bird. Hope you're doing well, man. Thanks. Thank you again for the bits. I appreciate you. Great answer. Scales and an astronaut. Scales and an ast. Oh, there's the astronaut. Astronaut. Scales. Good job. All right, they're like the. Uh, they're not like scales you weigh a person on. They're like these. Yeah. Scales. Like judges skills. Oh. That's not that's not the room. Scales. That should be everything. That's great. All the problems are finished. Head for the exit when you're done. Okay, that's another ten, right? So we're up to, what, 80, 86 now? 86 gumballs. You got all 10 right. Great job. Let's see, I think I can press stop to check my gumballs. Eighty six. One more run and a half, and then we'll have a maxed out Sonic Schoolhouse Gumball Machine. 
Hell yeah. We got this, boys. We got this. Get ready for reading. I think the playground games do give you gumballs. I'm not... 100% on that, though. Violin. Violin, violin. Right here. Violin. He almost stole my violin. Okay, what do we got? Figure Good skater job. and a musician. And a red phone. Red phone, figure skater, musician. There's musician. Saxophone. Musician. Robotnik always seems to be camped out in like one little. Oh, there was saxophone there too. Smart answer. Okay, saxophone is one. Saxophone. 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 Robotnik only camps out in this one area. I notice. You're smart. Binoculars. Binoculars. Uh, wasn't red phone one? Or was that the last run? It's starting to run to together for me now. Physician. Red phone. Red phone. Okay. Red phone. Fire extinguisher is one. Figure skater. Get out of the way, Sonic. Spin dash somewhere else. What is that one? Red. Oh, red phone right here. Okay. You're smart. Crimson bird. Crimson bird. Is that basically the cardinal? Crimson bird. That's weird. Why do they not just call it a cardinal? Why a crimson bird? Correct. Good okay. job. Was binoculars one? Binoculars. Okay, that's just figure skater left. Fire extinguishers one. Binoculars, yeah. There we go. Okay, this room is done. I need a fire extinguisher and a figure skater. Uh, fire extinguisher. There's one. Fire extinguisher. Robotnik won't come out of this one room. He just stays. His AI just kind of like roams around in that one room over there. So is this how Baldi's Basics is like? I've never played that. Okay, we got blue flower and blue phone. That should be easy to remember. Blue bird. Blue bird. Oh, not not bird. It was blue phone. Blue phone. And blue flower. You're smart. Wait, I just went right past it. Cobalt flower. There. You're smart. All right, I think all I need now is figure skater. Figure skater. There you are. Figure skater. Now to remember where that was. Uh, 
There we go. Smart answer. All the problems are finished. Head for the exit when you're done. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, calling it like a cobalt flower, which I guess cobalt is a color, right? Just a kind of a weird weird choice of color. You could just call it a blue flower, not cobalt. All right, so that's what we're at 90. Are we at 96? So I can just answer the first four. Get ready for reading. Answer the, the first four and then we're done. Dolphin, convertible, red flower, and binoculars. Oh, there's that. Binoculars. Okay. Smart answer. Convertible, there's convertible. Convertible. Dolphin. Great answer. Dolphin. All right, this should be 100 right here. Red flower. It made this one easy. Red flower. Red flower. You're smart. All right, let's see if that's 100. One hundred gumballs run. Sonic Schoolhouse. Did we do it? Hey. Every time you answer a question, you get another gumball. It takes a hundred gumballs to fill the machine. Click up here when you want to print your gumball machine. Click here to see someone else's gumball machine. Yahoo! Go one over? Alright, we'll go one over just to see Yahoo! what happens. We'll go one gumball over to see if they start... Ready for reading. God, that freaks me out every time. He just opens the door. All right. Wait, is that Red Phone Crimson Bird? Guitar and figure skater. Red Phone Crimson f Bird. Is that Cardinal back there? Yeah. Crimson Bird. Crimson Bird, AKA Arizona Cardinal. All right. Smart answer. 101. Gumball machine explodes. Gumballs fly everywhere. Like the Microsoft Windows 95 screensaver. All right, let's see. Pop. you answer a question, you get another gumball. It takes a hundred gumballs to fill the machine. Click up here if you want to print your gumball machine. Click here to see someone else's gumball machine. I want to print my gumball machine. There is no default printer. To install and select the default printer, click the start button, point to settings, clip printers, and then double click add printer. No. No, man. Shit, no, man. Pentium 486? What does that mean? Oh, 
Oh, I can change my character. Hi there. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. You're going to play in my schoolhouse. If you've ever got a problem, find me and I'll help. Right over there is where you pick a character. Just click on the animal. Try it if you don't believe me. You can also decide between your keyboard and a joystick with a click. There's a little box where you can choose your own name. If you're not sure how to do it, ask a grown-up. That's what they're for. If you want to play with a friend, click on the stick man. The traffic light lets you move through my schoolhouse. Click on green to get started. Red will stop you. Yellow will pause the game and let you take a break. Click on the gumball machine to tell you how you're doing in the game. This note controls the music. I like to hear it, but you're the boss. Click on the books to change your grade. Don't you wish it were that easy in school? If the game's running slow, try clicking here. 486 instead of Pentium means your game will run faster. It just won't be quite as pretty. Anytime you've got any more questions, I'm always here. Have fun! Oh, I want the game to be pretty. I want a Pentium, I don't want a 486. <laughs> I had it on Pentium the whole time, right? Roxas has a 486. Click on the doors with letters or numbers well, guys, I think our time at Sonic Schoolhouse has come to an end. GG! Yep. It was fun. For an edu... What'd you call it? An edu... Edutainment game? Edutainment? Get learning. Edutainment. All right. Sorry you're leaving. You're going to come back soon, right? Yes. Oh wait, no, I didn't want I didn't want to skip that. No. No. No, no, hold on. I want to go back. Hold on. I want to quit again and see what happens. Don't lie to Sonic. <laughs> I'm Sonic. Click on me for help. Click on me for help. All right, now let's see what it does. Sorry you're leaving. You're going to come back soon, right? Wait, it's like this. This should have been game number 400, honestly. <laughs> oh, here we go. Voices. Meg Englima and Keith McKechnie. So Meg Englima. I think what she voiced Sonic. Keith David. Keith David is Sonic. 
Mickey Rourke as Sonic. I was waiting for Steve Bloom to show up. Our boy SB. So the same year this came out, we had games like Resident Evil, 